Our next guest is a living comedy legend with a new podcast called Senses Working Overtime and a new stand-up comedy special called Worst Daddy in the World. Please welcome David Cross. <laughs> See you. Thank you. I appreciate you changing your schedule to be here tonight. Uh, very kind of you. Yeah, yeah. It was, uh, uh, I, you know, they called me. Can I fill in? Yeah. I was like, I'm gonna be. It's true. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> it's true. They uh, don't take offense. I think that. Yeah. No, it's true. It is true. You, and so yeah. I, I uh, stayed an extra day, and uh, and this it does. This is eating into my uh, Tuesday night is uh, my wife and I's date night. So oh uh, oh geez all right well thank so you for yeah that's true and uh, actually I'm gonna check in with her and uh, if that's cool if you all don't mind give me a second now you want to check in with her yeah let's let her know it's uh, on speaker let me turn this up this is your wife Amber Tamblin yeah yes yeah. Does she, yeah, okay. <laughs> Does she usually hey, answer? Hey, honey, I'm at the restaurant. Are you on your way? Uh, no, so uh, I met, I'm still in L.A. Uh, I stayed here an extra day to do the Jimmy Kimmel show. What? Are you, are you, are you f kidding me? Who's watching Marla? What? Are you, you f stayed in L.A.? Why are, how, why are you staying there? I'm sitting here at a restaurant waiting for you right now. Is this a is this a joke? I, I can't believe you actually stayed out there this entire time. All right. So. Gosh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, man. you gotta. That's all right. That's all good. It's all good. It's all about some miscommunication. Keep, keeping there. the romance. Well, there's no communication. Not a miscommunication. Is yeah. Uh, um, but that's that's the little things that keep. You know, marriage exciting. Keep the fire alive. Yeah. 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 How old is your daughter now? She just turned seven. Oh, okay, that's a fun age. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I mean, I mean, she literally just turned seven. So I mean, yeah, last couple of days have been fun. Yeah. You know, <laughs> but she's, <laughs> she's, <laughs> you know, give or take. Uh, no, she's 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 really coming into her own, and you know, kids do that, and they start. You know the the questions are different, and what uh, kind of questions does she ask you? I mean, like, well, you know, I I have a uh, I part of my podcast is at the end of the podcast I ask every guest a question from Marlo, my daughter, and uh, I have oh, her come nice. up with questions uh -huh. to ask people, and uh, <laughs> and they've been great, like really. Um, I mean, there've been a couple really good ones, like um, why is there always pizza at birthday parties? And uh, uh, who did she ask that of? Uh, I don't remember, man. Uh -huh. I, I, uh, Are you calling your wife again? No, <laughs> honey. Who did Marlo ask about the pe? Uh, no, here's here's a couple. I got them on my. Oh, phone. okay, good, good. This is a good one. If lava is so hot, why doesn't it melt the volcano? Oh, that's a great question. Yeah, yeah. If the street were clean, could you lick it? Uh, I, I did, I recorded a podcast today with my father-in-law, Russ Tamblin, who's got a, a, a book coming out. And the question I gave him was, does your uvula help you with anything? This <laughs> is <laughs> a good question. <laughs> uh, I'm going to, I'm going to ask you a question. Is that cool? Yeah, from your daughter? Yep. From sure. The, okay. the, normally, this would be on the podcast. Okay. Uh, but when you do do my podcast, which you will do. Okay. All right. I'm not, we're not doing it right now. <laughs> Of course, of course. Um, then uh, I'll ask you a different one. Okay. This one is one of my favorites, and I, this is, I'm making this specifically for you. Okay. A tr real question, asked earnestly. These are all, uh, you know, asked in, in earnest. If Donald Trump found a lucky penny, would he have good luck? Ooh. Well, I think just him being able to bend over and pick it up. <laughs> Would be luck, yeah. So I'm gonna say, yeah, I think and so. He would, 
he would pick up a penny. Oh, I mean, you think so? Of, I do. I or he'd have somebody pick it up for him. Yeah, you. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I feel like he'd kick it at a housekeeper or something like that. That would be his version of it. But then ma he'd make sure it got deposited into his account. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> it, and I swear to God, I am being very sincere when I say this. I think we should put Donald Trump on the penny because he would love it. I'm on American currency, uh -huh. but f people hate pennies. They're annoying. They're they're covered in gum or urine or whatever dog. <laughs> and then it's a win-win. I like it's it. It's a win-win. <laughs> Lincoln's got two. He's got two denominations anyway. Yeah. Why not? You uh, your special is called Worst Daddy in the World. It seems like you aren't the worst daddy in the world, though, are you? Well, she came up with the title. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and but it also you know it's it it it's she said that you know like because I whatever I wouldn't take her to Dollar General to get a toy for the third time whatever right and uh, um, by the way if you're any <laughs> I've got about a year left I think of being able to just grab a present at the airport like right not worry about it and just go well, I'll give her this and uh, um, but Dollar General is great for presents. <laughs> really? Yeah. And she's not only going to play with it for five minutes, and it's a dollar. Yeah. And, uh, and you know, it, and the money goes towards the to generals and the, the U.S. Mm -hmm. US military. military. Yeah, yep. Sure. And one of the yeah. true, true yeah. patriot. Uh -huh. um, blood and soil, buddy. And, uh, um, <laughs> but it also, it, the title also suggests uh, that there are a lot of people in America that think, because of the belief system I'm uh, uh, and 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 how I'm raising her, uh, you know, to be um, uh, loving and to share and to uh, uh, celebrate diversity and and love everybody and be tolerant, uh, you know, that I'd be the worst daddy in the world. You know, there are some people that think the way I'm raising her is not right. Right. You know, because yeah. so I, I like let her read books. Yeah. You know, things yeah, like that. Of, you know, you can't do that you, yeah. in a lot of cases. In Florida, you can't. <laughs> in Florida, no, for sure not. How old are you in this headshot, Tony, <laughs> I ask? And, oh, my goodness. Is that, is that legit? That uh, is, uh, yeah. Wow. I mean, it's something, yeah. Uh, I think I'm 52. <laughs> uh, is this, who are these men on this headshot? Why are you sharing a head? Is that Steve Martin? <laughs> so, so this is letter set. So I got, I had to get a, I got a oh. gig at some point. This is, I mean, obviously early. I, I'm going to guess I'm 19, okay. 18, 18 or 19. And uh, I started doing stand up right before my 18th birthday. So I wouldn't have gotten real work until, you know, like 18 or 19. And they were like, you need a headshot. I was like, huh? And uh, I had nothing, no money, and um, and so I, I don't know where, I went, but I didn't, I couldn't get it printed. I didn't have enough money to get my name or anything printed. So I got, I went to the, you know, like a Staples type thing that didn't exist then, but wherever I, you know, and I got letter set, and I just rubbed it, you rubbed the letters yeah, off. Yeah, but I the thing, that. it came with these little guys, so I put, <laughs> I put the little guys there. <laughs> And uh, did they yeah. get work too, or is it just you? They get a cut. They get yeah, a they cut got a of something. Uh, everything I've ever made. Your special. Where, where did you get that? I don't know. I, they, there are people who acquire these things. I, we had at the Dollar General store. I think. <laughs> I should go to the Hollywood. I should go to <laughs> Hollywood. And you are a cute little boy. Yeah. I have to say, you um, uh, are releasing this special in a in a special way. Is yeah. that correct? Tell us exactly how you're doing that. Well, it's uh, it's not on a streaming service. I'm I'm like a lot of people. I'm not. I didn't originate this. A lot of people are doing this now, and I'm I'm newly converted to the idea. But uh, so it'll be on, my, it'll be on the 800 Pound Gorilla YouTube site. They're a comedy thing, uh -huh. and then it'll Perfect. switch over to my site, and then it just lives there. And it it's it's nice that it's, you know, if you want to look for it, it's easy to find as opposed to, like, it's not in the algorithm of Netflix where it comes out and then if you're not 
into it, it just disappears. Right, you know? right, right, right. So, and but you're doing a live component to it, right? Yeah, I, I did. This is the, I did it with the last special too. Um, uh, <laughs> all of which is, all of which is available through officialdavidcross.com website. <laughs> Anything you want to know? Officialdavidcross.com. Anything you want to know about what I'm doing? Uh, TV, film, uh, voiceover, Kimmel uh, appearances. It'll be on there? Yeah, you don't have to fly me out here to, to get this information, Jimmy. You just go. To I official, could have gone to, you well. You could have just gone to official David Cross. <laughs> well, anyway, <laughs> yeah, I'll be doing a live uh, chat stream thing, uh, which I, I it's really fun to do. Oh, you know, great. While well, it's streaming and then people are asking questions. I, I have no doubt it's fantastic. It's, uh, it, it's called The Worst Daddy in the World for Tomorrow at 10 Eastern, 7 Pacific on the 800 Pound Gorilla uh, right. Media YouTube channel. Uh, David Cross, everybody. Thank you, David, for being here. We'll be back with you.